Okay, but uh, Python also and all the other uh, programming languages have a trick for jumping lines, and it doesn't. It may not seem useful right now, but it is because you could say, for example, if you're printing this, right? You're printing. Let's say that we're printing hello here. And when I run it, it says hello here at the bottom. Okay, but now I can say if. Let me say that I have age is equal to twelve. So I can say if age it's more than twelve, then I can say hello man. But else print hello boy. So that trick will allow me to skip this particular line when age is more than twelve. Like it will print right now hello boy because it's equal to 12, that is not more than 12. You can do that with several lines of code. Like, you can put from here, from line number 10 to line number 4, whatever you want. And that's the, called the scope of the if. Like, from this column to... for ev during every line that it's in the same indentation. Like, if I move it to the left, it will not be part of it. But if I, I, I keep using it at the same level of indentation, it's going to remain part of the scope of this if. So this particular exercise is telling us that we need to, if the user has more than 100, like we're doing a, a party, right? So this party is supposed to give the budget. No, no, it's not about a party or a budget. It's actually something else. I'm confused on exercise. So it's telling me just to do this like literally. So if the user so total because uh, I, if I I read this code right now I can see that it's asking an input from the user so that's this little dialog here that shows up you see how it says how much money do you have in your pocket that's this how much money you have in your pocket so it's saying that it wants to grab that input from the user it wants to convert it to an int and then it's gonna start in this variable so if total that is now whatever the user inputs but as an integer if total it's equal. You cannot put just one equal because one equal will say, will give you an error because you are not trying to set the value of total to any value here. No, you're trying to compare it like this, double equal. So that's a comparison. So it will return either true or false. It's what we call a logical expression. You can uh, read more about it. Logical expressions have uh, a way to ask for more, greater than, less than, equal. So in this particular case, if the user has more than 100, Okay, if the user has more than 100, we answer, give me your money. Okay, so we answer, I guess, it means print, right? So print, give me your money. You have to be very careful with the syntax, because it can give you problems later when, when you're trying to test it. It can tell you that maybe you're wrong, and you're not really wrong, it's just a misspell, you know? Then if the user has more than 50, so... I can say if the user has more than 50 like that, and use it, and put buy me some coffee. So we will print again, but we will not print from the original, we will print buy me some coffee. Then if it's, no, here we were saying if the user has more than, so more than, if total is more than 50. And then if the user has less or equal than 50. So less or equal than 50 and we say there we duplicate this line again and then we say you are a poor guy go away so let, let's run it like this because i want to say something but let's just run this first let's say that i'm 45 if i'm 45 no no if i have 45 dollars in my in my pocket then it will not get here because it's not equal to 100 it will not enter here because it's no more than 50. It will enter here because it's less or equal than 50. So it should say in the console, your pool go away, but it's giving me a syntax error. Let's see why. Invalid syntax. Ah, yeah, I have a parenthesis here that doesn't make any sense. And apparently I have it in all the lines. Okay, so let's try again. I'm 45, I have $45 in my pocket. So you see, it's saying your pool go away. But another thing, that we could say is we don't have to go through all of these questions like let's say the the, the this, this is how the computer is going to go it's going to go line by line right it's going to go 
Line number one, nothing. Line number two, total. Line number three, nothing. Line number four, if total has 100, so it's going to jump it. And then it's going to go line number six. The idea is that it jumps six and eight as well. Because, well, actually, no. The idea is that if it reaches 100, let's do it with 100. The idea is that if it reaches 100, it will not... You see how it's printing several things at the same time? Like it's saying, give me your money, and then it's saying, buy me your coffee. Buy me some coffee. So it cannot be like that. Like you cannot say, buy me some coffee, and also give me your money. But it, it, it makes sense, because give me your money, it's for 100. But also, total is more than 100. So what you do is that you put an else here. You say, L if, L if. It's short for else. It's short for else. Else if. So basically, you're saying here. If it's 100, give me your money. And these other two will only be asked, or they will be considered, only if the first one is not true, because now it's an else. So if this, else that, or else that. And that's basically... Now we can try with the same 100, and you'll see that it will print only one. Yeah, give me your money. So if we test it... We don't have to put anything for the test, I think. It says that for more than a hundred, let's say let's say that I tested for let me test it for 120 and let me see what happens. It says by me got some some coffee too cheap and it's supposed to say It says it should say give me your money, and it said give give me some coffee. Oh yeah, this should be more than a hundred. I don't know why I put a hundred. It, it's here. It's more than a hundred. Okay, let's test it again. This doesn't really matter because it's a test. So everything is amazing. Finally. <laughs>